Lord Robin Corbett of Castlevale, the leader of the peers in the British House of Lords, president of the British Parliamentary Committee for Iran Freedom, and one of the most long-standing enthusiasts of the Iranian resistance, the PMOI, and especially Ashraf residents, passed away on Sunday, February 19th, at the age of 78. Robin Corbett was born on December 22, 1933. After finishing his studies, he decided to take up the profession of journalism. In 1974, he was for the first time elected by the British people as a member of the House of Commons. For over 18 years, he was one of the most active members of the UK Parliament, including as Chairman of the Parliament's Interior Commission. In 2001, he was chosen as a member of the UK House of Lords, and since 2005, headed the peers in the British House of Lords. In a message on the occasion of his passing, Mrs. Maryam Rajavi, President-elect of the Iranian Resistance, paid tribute to Lord Corbett, expressing deep sorrow and regret over his demise as the noble conscience of the people of the United Kingdom and their elected representatives, and said, Today, the Iranian resistance, especially the freedom fighters at Camp Ashraf, have lost an unequaled friend. The people of the United Kingdom have lost one of the most admirable symbols for defending the cause of liberty and democracy, and the entire humanity has been deprived of a great human being. In the course of the past three decades, Lord Corbett rose up in defense of the violated rights of the Iranian people and in support of the PMOI, the Iranian resistance, as well as the Iranian people's sovereignty, employing his entire political and parliamentary stature and credibility. He courageously carried the torch of freedom in the struggle against the disgraceful policy of appeasing the ruling religious fascism in Iran, founded the British Parliamentary Committee for Iran Freedom, and played a decisive role in the unprecedented political and legal campaign to remove the PMOI from the UK and EU lists of terrorist organizations. Mrs. Maryam Rajavi offered her profound condolences on the passing of Lord Corbett to his family, especially his beloved wife, Val Hudson Corbett, the people and the Parliament of the United Kingdom, the British Parliamentary Committee for Iran Freedom, and PMOI members at Camp Ashraf, and emphasized that the history of Iran's liberation will forever reminisce Lord Robin Corbett. What matters about Ashraf? What matters about this is it is a signal of hope, the hope of freedom and respect for human rights for those millions who cry freedom in, Iraq, in Iran itself. It's a voice that drifts over the desert sands, crosses that border into Iran itself and gives those people renewed heart, spirit and determination to stand up to one of the vilest regimes on this planet. Um, raise our voices. Salam Ashraf. We stand alongside you. The mothers are under siege. It's like a rotten tree. It looks okay. It's standing there. And along comes a strong and sustained wind. And over it goes. Because the middle of it is rotten. And that's where the mullahs now are. Salam Ashraf. You are the bravest of the brave, using your strong voices to let those millions in Iran who cry freedom know that you stand with them and they do not stand alone.
not the only one who finds it very difficult to speak about the man who was called the conscience of the British people and their parliament. Among the many lessons he taught, one that will always shine and enlighten was the way in which he put dignity, honor, and honesty prior to any political interest. He proved that honesty and humanity, if combined with bravery, generosity, and responsibility, will always prevail. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Today, humanity has lost one of its greatest beacons, and human rights, one of its greatest defenders. It is one thing to write about human values, to speak and preach about them, and yet it is quite another thing altogether to live those same values through courageous actions and honorable deeds. Lord Robin Corbett was definitely the latter kind, a man who stood up and raised his voice and defended human values regardless of the price it would cost him.